Hello and welcome. Um, you might wonder, based on the uh, topic of this video, that what is this all about? Um, it's all about my process of doing these films and also Instagram feeds and stories and all that stuff. I decided to do kind of a get ready me to film um, video with the uh, chatty parts of it. I have some thoughts which I want to share with you and um, this kind of feels most natural to me. Uh, what started this was that I've been, I haven't been doing stories in Instagram that much and lately I've noticed that those are quite popular and uh, people seem to really like seeing not just the products but the people as well um, sharing the thoughts about the products but also telling about their own lives and experiences and what's going on and that is a bit strange concept to me uh, I am old enough to have lived the time without social media and the idea of sharing your life to unknown people is uh, it's not uncomfortable it's just strange um, the main thought is that's why would anyone want to want to hear what's going on in my life because you don't know me but um, I can see the uh, problem of the thinking you won't get to know me if I don't tell more about me so I did do a little bit of story uh, I think last week or so and I did get quite a lot of feedback that they wanted to hear more about my thoughts see my face in Instagram stories as well but also hear about my life so I decided to do this I'm I'm planning to film a video today it's going to be a, a kind of who did I full glam cut crease tutorial for who did I? <laughs> and it's been coming a long time but now it's the perfect time to do it because the holiday season is getting and I really want to do something bold today um, I want to also show you how I prepare for videos because it's something uh, you might not never see actually. Uh, what I always start with is that I I have a glass table in front of me so I use these cleansing. These are just typical uh, cleansing wipes, microfiber cleansing wipes. I use these both to cover the uh, glass table so the products won't make noise when I'm filming but also I cleanse my brushes with this. I don't have a brush cleanser that kind of pot but I've noticed that this works as well and I can throw these to washing machine and they are clean so very very handy. I use this also when I'm doing professional makeup kicks or something uh, it's just handy so I spread this and then I start to collect the items I want to use but before I do that um, as it is now already I think one o'clock or two o'clock it's been a while since I did my morning morning beauty routine I'm going to test this Catrice fresh it up moisturizing primer um, the reason why I, um, I'm filming now, not in the morning as I planned, is that um, I do have some chronic pains basically all the time, but some days it's, it's more difficult. And today was just the day that I, I woke up and had my breakfast and did my morning beauty routine and then I realized that I have to go back to sleep. I have to go lie, lie down for a moment and that's what I did for two or three hours. And now I'm feeling better. Um, it sometimes just takes a little bit of time to relax and, and let the uh, pain meds affect. So. so, but luckily today uh, I have time. Um, I'm going to film this and then the hooded eye tutorial. I will upload this first So if you want to see the hooded eye tutorial click subscribe so you won't miss it or just Come again if you don't want to subscribe. I don't mind either way is good The first thought is that it's It's okay. It's good. I don't my life didn't change but I can 
I can see why people are excited because this leaves that kind of um, tacky feeling which um, for some reason products don't leave often and this is exactly what I want so first impression is good. After my skincare I start collecting the items I always keep cleansing wipes in hand and I have a drawer next to me where I have uh, tissues I, I need to wipe something so they are always next to me. Today I plan, we'll see, plan to do the makeup look using the Jackie Aina palette just because I, I've been using it only for a few times and there is bold enough colors for the look that I've been kind of thinking. It might be that I use some else palettes as well but we'll see what happens. And then usually when I do my kind of um, Instagram look makeups that I'm going to to do today. I use matte foundations or more full coverage foundations, which I don't use on everyday life. Um, they just film better, they look better in pics and also in, in video as well. Uh, and I think I'm going to use the infallible 24 hour wear. It's, it's too full coverage to try for me on everyday use, but I really like how it looks on pictures. So I'm, I'm going to use that. Uh, other products, I don't actually know yet what I'm going to use, so I rarely, if ever, plan whole makeup uh, beforehand. I just start from one point and then I start um, creating, basically. I, I go with the flow, I go with the uh, kind of what way the makeup is going and then I choose the products uh, after it. Um, also today I have, uh, you can hear my voice and you've seen in my previous videos that the flu is still here. It's been um, three weeks now, if not four already. So I'm not feeling the best for the flu wise either. Um, some things I do pick up, I have, I will show you how this whole setup looks from my view. But I do have my brushes next to me, but I usually do uh, take my eyeshadow brushes um, first because that's something I, I know what brushes I like to use uh, and I quite often use the same brushes. Um, let's see. Oh, and my hair, um, it is straight again now. Last video it was curly. It takes so long time to curl my hair for some reason because I'm not used to. I had a short hair for years and then now it's longest it has been in few years so I'm not used to do anything. I just I kind of like it as it is kind of this sleek and and I just washed it. I haven't do anything else. I just washed it and let it dry uh, naturally so it is it's like this and the color I did, uh, I do dye my hair, my hairstylist is a genius so he did this but this is actually quite close to my natural color um, at least as I remember I haven't seen my natural color in uh, 20 years or so, something like that. But that's that's the life. I, I like to dye my hair. Uh, we are in process to growing it, so we'll see how long it will get, but who knows. Um, oh, I do have... Um, where it is? There is actually one product I want to try today. I don't use black eyeliners usually, but now for this video I'm going to test this eye booster uh, eyeliner from Physicians Formula. Uh, it's the ultra black. It's not. I think there is a waterproof version, but this is not it. This is, I think, the regular version. But this is something I will try today as well. Oh, and the lashes. Uh, I always wear the same lashes for because I love them. I need to get more of this. This is a sweet lashes. This is, I think, a Swedish brand. Um, and th these are the Berue, 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 something like that, 3D lashes. Uh, most of my Instagram pics are with these lashes. I just, 
love how they look. I've been wearing these so many times and they are still good. Um, they just fit my eyes so well. Uh, they are comfortable. The band is quite thick. I was quite worried about it when I first saw this. But surprisingly, as they are so good fit to my eyes, it doesn't bother me at all. They are just easy to put on and they last all day. And they are really beautiful. Uh, if you have hooded eyes, you might have seen that there is quite many lashes actually that don't fit you. Uh, mainly because, as, as for example, I have that this uh, path, it kind of drops down quite low here. So it, it hits some of the lashes which are wrong shaped. So they turn the uh, lashes too much downwards, which uh, if, if the band is not flexible, it will start lifting this side up so they get off very easily. And as you have this heaviness here, many lashes have the most of the volume here and it just looks too, too heavy. So that's, that's definitely a problem. So um, you really need to test what kind of lashes fit your eyes. Some, some really look awful, absolutely awful. But I love these. I will post this look to Instagram and of course you can see the video in a few days, maybe next week. We'll see when I post it to see how I created the look I'm going to create now. But here we are. Enough of get ready to film with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to uh, see this kind of videos more and hear about my life, <laughs> my life still sounds strange, but you know, uh, let me know, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, anything. Um, I'm, I, I kind of want to do this more. I'm just not sure how people will like this, but let me know what do you think. But as usual, I wish you have a great day and see you next time, hopefully. Bye bye. <laughs>